it likes to put in fence it. Right, Dolphy Dog's there, by the way. Today, if you want to grab a cup of tea, please do, because this is not going to be a long video, but it might be longer than normal. I'm going to be talking about my new first aid kit. It's the same thing, same style, it is goes on, it is a drop leg. That just hangs up when it's in the house, so that comes off. But it's not ending up anything else, because this is my new inch slash home slash 72 hours slash even basically <laughs> first aid kit so yeah so it is a good piece of kit it is fantastic i do like it i do prefer it this way now because the other one was too awkward when i tried everything out put everything on my back and it just didn't feel comfortable so but this one here does as well this is it they are where i can add a bit of padding if i need to and I will probably more than likely add the padding in the next couple of weeks. Right. Before I start on this one, I am not qualified. I'm qualified. I'm a qualified first aider, but I'm not a qualified doctor. I'm not a qualified medic. I'm just qualified in basic first aid. I've got. I've done the qualifications. I'm probably going to have to update it, probably I think next year I probably have to go to do another course to carry on being qualified, but the thing is, with my health, it's not a good idea to touch anybody else. So, shall we begin? I think we should, personally. Right. As I said, this is a drop leg pouch. This does go on my leg here, on this leg. That clips onto my belt of my web of my of my uh, dog sack, and then basically if I do need it and I need it fast, I flip that up because there's the gloves. Before I do that, actually, my trauma case there with my scissors. I'm thinking about putting a pair of scissors in this kit, but that's as far as it's got. But that's how we go back to the pouch now because it's coming up for two and a half minutes, just over two and a half minutes. So there's the gloves, I flip them up, I unclip that, what's going to keep that more secure? I grab the glove pouch again and then I just put it off. It's the rip away pouch. I have shown this pouch in quite a few different videos. I know I did my one of my first day kit videos as the rip away pouch before. I know I did one of my large fire kits as a rip away pouch before. And I know I showed my camp kit as the ripaway pouch, but the camp kit's gone. That's completely being redone, being rehashed because I found that was too heavy and I found that was just carrying too much stuff, too much junk. So, right, so let's begin, shall we? There's another little flap there. Go flip, unzip it. Buy all up here. Hopefully, nothing falls out. Oh, yeah, so it will fall out because it's not even secure. And that is my. Um, splint. I'm starting to carry that inside the first aid kit because I think that's where it belongs, not on the bottom of the rucksack. So, it's that one there. And as you can see, it is a big first aid kit. So, yeah, most of it's exactly the same. There's hardly any changes apart from I've added some more stuff to this one because, as I said, I did take the other first aid kit apart. I took both first aid kits apart and put them into one because it was too awkward to carry that one around my neck as well as my inch pouches as well as my rucksack as well as my belt kit and as well as my edc so i had to cut it down but i didn't really cut it down that much i've added it just to this pouch so i'm not going to take everything out because you don't need to really see everything basically i've done it that way i've still got the sterilized solution i've still got the Base blanket with the frontal lens. I've got some more of these um, stereo and these SO uh, wound strips. I think they're called butterfly stitches sometimes as well. And the back here, I've got some Sabalon, which antiseptic cream, as well as some bite and sting relief cream. And as well, I've got the same thing. I've still got the alcohol wipes and I've still got the, the iodine swabs back here i've got now a 
small first aid guide for anybody who's basically treated me and I've got a small lot of banjo. I might be adding the other banjos to this one because at the end of the day, as I said, this is just a one bag now. I have got a camp first aid kit, but that's when I go on Dartmoor. So yeah, so there's them once. And then in the back of here again, there's another little compartment with a flap. I've got some stuff what was in the other first aid kit, as I said. I've got the self adhesive horse pastures. Got non wool swabs. I don't really have to back in because I can do that afterwards. I got low hit. I've some more of these low heat dressings. These are the ones what basically don't stick on it. You don't stick. You have to use a bandage to put them on. As well as some more of these low heat dressings. Yeah, they're 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 in this pouch now because at the end of the day it's a lot bigger, and I can add more stuff to it. So that's all what's in that compartment. In this compartment, the second one down, as you can see, yeah, I call this my bandage bin because at the back of here there's all loads of different size bandages. As you can see there's a finger dressing, there's another small there's a small bandage. There's one of those. I don't know what they call it, but it's one of those thicker bandages. What well, basically if you have a spine ankle or something like that, you can use. I have got two triangular bandages in, in here. I've got some more, I've put, put these in here now, I've got these, um, I don't think what they're called now, these cotton tab things, I think they're fantastic because you can reuse them, you just have to basically boil them, disinfect them, I've got a tube bandage in here now, I've got some more of these, I don't know what they're there in there for, because <laughs> they're these are the lower host addressing pads, they're there, I've got some of these stick ones what stick on themselves, for myself and the dog, so yeah, I've got a lot more bandages and stuff here than before because before in my other my one before I did this other one, what was on the drop plate, I think I had about three bandages. That's it. No other bandages apart from three, so I was kind of a bit stuck there. So now I'm not stuck. I've got more than what I need and I've got enough for the dog. And she's right there. As you can see her red. <laughs> right. In here is the tools. Not a lot of tools in here. There's another finger. There's a finger splint there. There's some glass. There's some plasters. There's some paint. There's some tweezers. There's some tick tweezers. There's a syringe to clean it out. There's some of this antibacterial powder. I'm gonna put add the other. I'm gonna add some more of that in. Oh, finger covers. I've got safety pins. There's lots of stuff in there more than what I could think of so yeah and all that as I said that for a minute, go from here I do prefer this I do like this and that's a choice I do like this drop leg pouch because at the end of the day it's so much easier to use it's so much easier to have so yeah I'll show you where it goes on the belt of my rucksack where it clips into so yeah that's that one and so yeah as i said before there's nothing on the back apart from the leg clip as you all know the drop leg yeah i made this myself i made this back pouch this pt myself i put this on myself and then basically there's nothing in there but i can add say that padding as i said or i can add i don't know say some more blasters for example or band-aids what you call them in america and canada um some, some more of these swabs. I can't add any more bandages in this bit because it'll be too bulky and it would just not fit properly and it won't feel comfortable. So I'll show you where this clips in onto the belt. You'll give me a second, guys. I'm just going to pause you and then I'll show you back. There you go, guys. This is where it is. This is where it goes. It might look bulky, it might look heavy, but it's not at all. It's just like I just find it a little bit awkward with this clip. It looks bulky, but it's not. I not to test it in the field yet so i'll let you know when i'm out in the field when i'm out actually using this bag and this kit as you can see there's the belt kit and it clips in underneath what i call my sort of like my compass or with my whistle and my torch and my single wheel pouch as you can see there's the clip so it just clips in so it's easy to put on and off 
there and when I'm not when I'm not using it as I said it just hangs up in my hallway on my light socket not light socket light switch socket so yeah tell me what you think tell me if you think that's too big or tell me if you think that's too awkward but to me it's not I have walked around the house with it as I said I just haven't tested it in the field yet but I will be doing that soon so yeah so so what you think and i will see you in the next one guys and this is don't forget guys this is the 2019 first aid kit for my inch slash bug out slash home slash whenever i need it first aid kit thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one guys thank you bye bye